Hello everyone, once again I welcome you all for this uh, wonderful session on cyber security. We were actually discussing uh, essential terminologies of cyber security. We had seen these three definitions. Uh, where is it? How to scroll it? Yeah. So hack value, zero day attack and vulnerability. Let's understand three more definitions in this session and uh, cover up this whole thing. Let me take uh, another color here to separate the definition. The th uh, fourth de definition is exploit. And it's nothing, it is very relevant uh, from the perspective of this vulnerability. You see, once you find this vulnerability, okay, once you find this, this red dot, now to enter into this dot, okay, to enter into this loophole is nothing but exploit, okay. It's a breach, okay. You are breaching the security and breaching is nothing but exploit here. I hope you are getting it, okay. Breaching of security of a system through vulnerability is nothing but exploit. So let me put it in the words here. So what it says is a breach of security, breach of security of a system, it's a good thing through vulnerability. So sometimes uh, I write wrong spellings, but um, apologies for that. Okay. So this is the thing. Uh, next definition is we understand that it is let's understand daisy chaining you had also seen this kind of uh, thing here daisy chaining sir what do you mean by daisy chaining well it's a simple thing so daisy uh, chaining is a sequential process of hacking so by means of by means of what let me put it in the heat white i like this whiteboard this is great i mean so what is a sequential chaining sir you if this is a target here if this vyakti this person is a target if this is a person you you want to target and if this person is an attacker then attacker will try different hacking process to access this person okay he will he will try he will attempt to uh, gain access to this person via several mechanisms, one after another. So, he can try uh, a network attack here. Then after the network attack, he will try for an access control. Maybe he will try some encryption decryption here after getting the access control. Maybe he gets some username, password, something like encryption decryption. Maybe he will try to spam fish or something like that and and then maybe he will use uh, any kind of payload with your malware, malware payload, okay. So you see they are sequential, this is a sequential uh, process here, this is a one attack, so it's a second attack, this is a third attack, one after another, four and five. So you can see it's a sequential attack. To, from an attacker to this person, to this target and to gain access to this person computer or person system. So this is a daisy chaining. So the whole process is known as daisy chaining. Okay, so it's what is this? It's a sequential. It's a sequential process of several hacking attempts to gain access to the target terminal, uh, to the target, to the target computer or his network or his network well as i put you in this diagram that there are several uh, attacks that he is performing there might be a chance that he will use only one attack and he will use uh, different aspects of this attack so he can use here sniffing okay the same information he will use or maybe after sniffing he can payload in this uh, traffic Okay, he can he can use something like this. So the so the one attack, only one attack, but he will use the different aspects of his of this attack and uh, will attack on this target. 
no need of this okay then he will not use different different uh, attempts he will use only one attempt but different aspect of it okay using the same information from the previous attempt so this is the daisy chaining uh, and after the daisy chaining uh, let's uh, understand something called as a payload it's a payload now how how sir what is payload sir so payload is very simple you see in the previous example this example where is it uh, i think uh, this is the this is the example you see this it's a very large how this happens is let me yeah, it's i think it's an image now okay yeah i got it now you see this is the um, uh, this is the diagram we had seen and uh, you already had find this vulnerability you exploit it right this is the thing you already know now let's come back to the new uh, whiteboard and let's see again the same diagram let me uh, same diagram here so if this is the system one more time and you find this uh, loophole here this is a loophole okay this is the loophole that you find this is a uh, loophole here you had to find this loophole and uh, this is loophole in the sense of it is a vulnerability some attacker was sitting over here this is an attacker having this is an attacker and this attacker okay what this attacker gonna do he will find this vulnerability he will find this find vulnerability and after finding this vulnerability what he gonna do he will exploit it one more time so on a larger aspect how it looks like if this is the gap then he will enter into this system this is an exploit okay so making it bold so he will exploit it he will, he will enter into the system with the help of this vulnerability system it is known as it's a breaching right this is an exploit or breaching sir once he enter into the system what next what he gonna do basically he will sit in the computer or what no it, it he will not gonna sit in the computer so if he is there in the computer and this computer looks like this if there is a drive is c c drive there is a d drive and there might be some some other things right so this whole thing he is he is actually here now in the computer what he gonna do sir well he can now do he will he will leave the payload here he will leave the payload and payload could be any malicious attempt okay it's a malicious activity that he is going to do in your computer so what kind of malicious activity sir it could be uh, it could be like key logger okay he will put a key logger in your c drive or anywhere in the system key logger means whenever you type anything in the keyboard the same keys or the the pressed key is going to be sent back to the attacker so the attacker will know that what keys you are pressing it could be a password then now right so it's a key logger he can also put uh, some malware there it could be malware is a very whole you know different uh, arena to search but uh, there are specific malwares like it could be a ransomware it could be worms it could be trojan so he will he will put there Okay, he will put there in the C driver and the D drive. So, payload is nothing but a malicious and exploit code there, which causes some potential harmful in the computer, in this computer. So, he will not sit there in the computer. He will do something like this. He will leave the payload there, leave the payload so that his computer get corrupted. Maybe uh, uh, he, he will get some information from that computer also. He will get access to that computer access but he will get something from that computer and that's why he will leave the payload and that is the meaning of payload here here so where is the definition okay okay okay, okay. so it's a hang or what yeah I cannot see it okay so now we are dealing with uh, the the i think it's a d e and f i think we are in the f and yeah okay okay so i had written already so payload is it refers to the um, it's a malicious uh, and exploit code that 
will leave by the attacker by the attacker once he access the system using exploit okay it's a malicious code or exploit code that will leave by the attacker once he access the system using exploit um, uh, the payload could be any any kind of uh, exploit any kind of backdoor uh, any kind of hijacking uh, and any kind of uh, malware or something right this is the payload that he gonna uh, put there okay i hope uh, now you are getting it so these are some of the essential terminologies i hope uh, you like it if you like it please uh, uh, hit and like hit like share and subscribe to my channel it would be a great help from your side thank you so much for listening to me we will again meet you in the next session with uh, uh, we will see the CIA triad which is important and then we will see different types of hackers available in the cyber security and then we will go ahead with the system vulnerabilities practical sessions okay we will see how to uh, get this information gathering and on all right thank you so much for listening to me guys